Hi everyone, just wanted to take a minute to talk a little bit about um, some special cases of multiplying binomials. In particular, we're going to look at the cases of um, difference of squares and unsquaring binomials. Sorry, I just had a, forgot what I was saying. All right, so the first case that we are going to look at is going to be multiplying differences of squares. So we're going to call this difference of squares, and you're going to see why at the end. Um, the name might not make sense right now, uh, but it, it, it will make sense in a minute. So if I gave you this, you would know how to multiply this, right? I would have to multiply the a times the a, the a times the negative b, right? So if I did that, it would be a squared times negative a b, b times a, and then b and negative b is negative b squared. All right, so b a times b is the same as b times a, right? Because of the commutative property. So those cancel. So you're just left with a squared minus b squared. And that's why it's called the difference of squares, right? I have a squared minus b squared. So if you ever end up with something like this, you pretty much already know that your answer is just going to end up being a squared minus b squared. So what's a? a is your first term, uh, and b is your second, OK? So for example, this is the difference of squares. I have x minus 4, x is a, 4 is b. So my answer is going to just end up being x squared minus 16. All right, you want to confirm that? How can we do that? Well, we can just multiply the same way we would have always multiplied, right? x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x, negative 4x, right? You can already see these two are going to cancel. And then negative 16. And bam, we're left exactly with that. Same thing with this one. I'm going to square the first thing. 2x squared is the same thing as 4x squared. And then my b is going to be the 3, so minus 9. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So it is just a shortcut, all right? Um, obviously, you can get away with multiplying the way you would have always multiplied. Um, it's just a way to try and save you a little bit of time. All right. Last thing I do want to show you, your special cases. Um, if you get something like this, it's a little confusing at first in terms of what it is that you are doing. Um, because a lot of people have the tendency to desire to distribute the square, but no. So essentially what this means is this means the following. x minus 4 times x minus 4. Now, when we do this, let's see what happens. Again, you're going to distribute, so x squared, negative 4x, negative 4x, plus 16, OK? So really, what are, what are we noticing here? We have this squared, we have this squared, and then we have two of the middle terms. But the middle terms are the same. Right, so you end up with this, x squared minus 8x plus 16. So let's just take a minute and look at this in general. So if I gave you a, you know, plus b whoop, squared, what's going to end up happening? You get a plus b times a plus b. That's what, a squared plus ab plus ba, which is the same thing as ab plus b squared. Plus b squared. So all that's happening is exactly as you see up here. The first term squared, the middle term, uh, you multiply them together and double it, right? Negative 4x times 2 is negative 8x, right? And then you square the, uh, the last thing. That's all that it is, OK? So let's put this in. x squared minus then, uh, 8x plus, oops, plus 16. There we go. OK, let's look at a new problem. So as you can see down at the bottom, we still have our general formula. formula. Um, but let's do it out. 
So again, that's the same thing as x plus 10, x plus 10. So based on that formula I know that we just looked at, if you again, you can still distribute. This is just trying a way to save time. 10 times x is 10x times 2 is 20x plus 100. Okay, and you can see with very little work, I don't like this, by the way. You can just multiply out the way you would have always get the same answer. So this is just a way for you to get a few shortcuts in. Um, hopefully these help and speed up the process. Have a lovely day.